Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You're watching Mainframe Cobol Practical Tutorials. So today in this video, I would like to share you about a COBOL accept and display statements and how it works practically. So as we all know that uh, accept, oh, so there are two statements called accept and display in COBOL. So what is accept? Accept is a terminal input command whereas display is a terminal output command. So when I say terminal input command, so we would be manually entering the details and display is to throw the output to the screen. So let's go ahead and see practically how do we do that so so in order to write any COBOL program and run it so what is the first step involved is the first step is to you write the COBOL program compile it and then execute it in the same way now I'm trying to write a COBOL program using an accept statement so this is the COBOL program you can see where you can see identification division program ID then the author and then the description followed by environment division since I don't, I'm not using any files, so I don't use, uh, I don't code any file section. And uh, we have data division, environment, uh, sorry, parking storage section. I'm trying to declare a date here. I'm trying to declare a date in working storage section. Okay, that is under data division. So you can see a WS date of using picture class of X of 10. And in procedure division, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to accept the date from the terminal. So in the same way, I'm after, sorry, after the date is entered, I'm trying to display the date is so and so. So here, the data size is 10. So this is how the COBOL program looks. So again, once again, you can see it. So uh, for identification division, data division, the procedure division, followed by main para, accept, and display. Okay, this is how the COBOL program looks. Now, we shall go and compile the program. So here IGYWCL is a pro utility which will come which is used to compile the program and uh, we use a uh, link edit IEW uh, to to create the object program of this program so LKED you have to give the if you are using any copy lib you have to specify your copy lib and uh, this is I mean you will come to know what is copy lib in my next tutorials when I speak about what is exactly copy book so far now since this is the basic uh, basic tutorials of a COBOL so as we are working with the accept so let's understand just keep it as it is so here is your COBOL program you where you give that is COBOL.sysin and this is your path where your COBOL program has written and this is the and this is the path where you want to load uh, your load lib of this particular program into this library so it need to be same the load lib uh, name and the program name should be same so that's the reason I am trying to update this so that it will be same now I need to run this program so just submit it enter enter it ended with written code 0 if you want to go uh, check it in the spool okay so you can see here okay it doesn't know about zero you can see compile successfully and the condition step was executed condition code is zero so the compilation has been successfully completed and if you want to see the code confirmation you can see written code is zero and you can see the COBOL code sheet here it expanded successfully and the, all the comment sections you can see and the display statements okay so we are good so what is the next step the next step is to run the COBOL program so how do we run it so we have to write a separate JCL to run the program so it's a simple JCL to run a, a simple COBOL program for accept for accept and display statements okay statements okay so what you need to do is you have to give your program name here okay after giving a program name here you need to point to your load lib path so it is given by step lib dd name and uh, followed by your program name so if you look at your program so what you are doing is uh, with your program so you're trying to accept the data or date right so in your JCL you need to enter few values in order to get your data stored in this variable so how do we do that so this is your JCL and using s that is done that can be done using sys in DD star okay so what we do is here you need to insert your date 
so it could be mmddyy I'm trying to enter into an m1 mmddyy okay so I'm just I'm trying to enter this in 0101 slash 2014 just an end with star forwards uh, slash star then submit enter enter okay it ended with zero then we can go and check in the spool okay you can verify it okay j message you can see step was executed revision code zero that is step zero one I mean you can see the same step is there right it's the same step, step you can see in the pool and if you go to solve this you can see the enter date is 01012014 that's how uh, we uh, make work of uh, accept and display statement this is mainly important when you try to debug your program right whenever you are trying to debug your program so we make use of display statement this act as a very powerful statement I'm saying you this act as a very powerful statement when the, whenever there is an issue in your COBOL program just you can trace it by using display statements okay so you will be coming to understand more and more about the displacement and importance when you work with the files concept where you'll be trying to read your files and uh, you'll be trying to do some calculations and uh, you wanted to capture some few fields or few the records then you'll be testing with the display statements and if it is working fine then you'll be uh, completing your program so that's the power of display statements In the same way we can use accept statement is also used for testing so just make sure of copying the data from file you can just first test by accept statements then you can display it okay so this is how uh, with this I'm trying to end this video uh, I mean regarding the topic of accept and display statements please understand that this is very very important so uh, keep watching to my mainframe YouTube uh, videos I will be coming up with more and more videos so stay tuned to my channel if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly please subscribe to get an uh, alerts email alerts whenever I post uh, post on my youtube channel so that you won't be missing uh, my updates regularly so kindly please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much for watching this video uh, if you like share or comment on my youtube channel so have a great and pleasureful day